So today we look at one of the new known SMGs to Borderlands 3, the Kib's Worth, yet another reference to Destiny. <laughs> How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, simply make sure you are subbed and have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So the Kibsworth is a new SMG, a Maliwan SMG that's exclusive to this takedown at the Maliwan Black Site 3 event. This keeps worth is a part of a long line of Maliwan SMGs which in my opinion are the best this game offers. Today we look at the weapon and discuss if it's a weapon you could trade out one of your current loadout weapons for. So firstly, this takedown at the Maliwan Black Sight event has seen its first raid introduced to BR3. The Maliwan takedown raid's last boss is Walton the Invincible. This SMG as far as we know right now is an exclusive drop from Walton. Now you do have a chance of getting this to drop on any of the Mayhem modes, 1, 2, 3 or 4, just obviously Mayhem 4 has an increased luck in regards to loot drops. Now I don't know if it's because at the moment Destiny 2 is probably the main most popular game at the moment which also has raids and so forth, but many of the weapons we've seen drop with this Maliwan event are in reference to Destiny. We had the good Juju which is a 100% reference to the bad Juju from Destiny. We have the Moonfire which many people is in reference to the Hawk Moon. And we have this weapon that keeps worth. So how is this in reference to Destiny you are wondering? Well let me explain why I think so. Okay, so this being a Borderlands video, you may not know the lore of Destiny, but within Destiny 1 there was a raid. The first raid to the franchise which was called the Vault of Galas. In the minds of many, the best raid in Destiny's history. I could actually agree with that. Now within this raid, there were a certain armour for the Titan class called the Kabir's Armour Set. Now the story behind Kabir you can see on screen now. Now the lore goes deeper than what you are seeing on screen now, but this is just a rough description of him. But to cut things short, he along with his fire team tried to take on a challenge of this raid, tried to take on the vault of glass, tried to open the vault. In the end they failed and Kabir's team is said to have been erased from existence from the oracles within the vault of glass. In the end when his team was lost and his ghost was taken from him, Kibir was determined to not die in vain by forging his light into the Aegis, a shield of incredible power that could change fate itself and defeat the enemies of the vault. Now the Aegis relic was used by people within the Vault of Glass which basically allowed us to do damage to the main boss called Atheon as well as survive while taken on the Oracles. The relic was picked up by one fire team member and was used to shield incoming attacks by Atheon while we could fire through it. This relic had a certain proximity, a circle known to many, not too big, so you had to be relatively close to the person holding this relic, so you had to be within that certain circle. If you didn't, as I remember, your screen would eventually turn black and you would die. Now this shield, this relic, Kabur and so forth, how does this tie into the Kib's worth? Well, Kib and Kibir is pretty similar in terms of names. The chess piece for the Titan in Destiny is also the Kibir's Wrath. Pretty similar name to the Kib's worth. The description to this chess piece reads, In the aftermath, he became obsessed with the machines. I mean, what is this Maluan takeover all about? Yes, they are basically machines. But that isn't it. The main clue which links the Kib's worth and the water glass and everything I just mentioned is the red text under weapon. It states, stand in the effing circle. This was a super common phrase used by almost everyone who first attempted this vault of glass and took on the final stages of the Oracles and Atheon, as you'd have to stand in the circle to do damage to Atheon, and also stand in the circle so you wouldn't die, basically giving you a constant flow of healing and health. Also look at the additional benefit of the Kib's worth. Fooled enemies spawn a healing aura once every 10 seconds. Well that healing aura is exactly what the Aegis Relic Shield was within the Vault of Glass. It was a healing aura. So yeah guys, that's basically the reason behind why I believe this is another reference to Destiny and to be honest, I love it. 
So back to the weapon. Now this is an SMG I have many versions of thanks to my pal trolling donkey so credit to him for sending me these for this review. So looking at the variants I have they can differ quite a lot. My favourite is this one right here. The eviscerating sublime Kibbs Worth. You can see this variant deals damage of 529 times 2 with an accuracy of 72%, 58% handling, 2.4 second reload speed, uh, 8.27 fire rate and a mag size of 34. A plus 35% weapon charge speed, a plus 75% splash damage radius, a plus 60% melee speed and a plus 69% projectile speed. The annoyment this offers is consecutive hits increase damage by 1% per hit, misses remove all bonuses. This weapon is also able to switch between any two elements this game offers, but my version is incendiary and corrosive. Now if we check out how this shoots, it's not like any of the other Malawan SMGs, it's unique to itself. Now this variant fires two projectiles which kind of curl out then back in, and this does mean sometimes you'll see shots miss targets right in front of you due to the shots curving around them, but it's quite rare. But there is a variant like this one which shoots three shots, one shot which shoots centre going straight forward, with the other two following the same curve this one does. This variant though you can see on screen now and you can see it also consumes two ammo per shot and these always seem to have a much lower magazine size, meaning they run out of ammo way way quicker even though they deal more damage. It's why I prefer the variant you can see on screen now, the eviscerating sublime keeps worth. So this SMG I am seriously enjoying. Now I know there are many in this game, Maliwan especially, the Devoted, the Cutsman, the Tsunami, the Cloud Kill and many many more. But this to me is taking many great elements those other Maliwan SMGs offer and rolling them up into one. No it doesn't have the fire rate of the Devoted but you can switch elements. No it doesn't deal the damage the Cutsman is capable of but it isn't far off. This is a weapon which has a massive reserve mag and also allows you to save space within your inventory due to being able to basically offer two elements and I love that fact. Now the major benefit of this weapon is the fact of fallen enemies give off a healing aura. What that makes this weapon is, is the perfect team based weapon. This in my opinion, whether gearbox stated or not, is the main chase this Maliwan takedown event offers and it's the perfect weapon to indeed go on to take on the Maliwan raid. A 4 man team all running this weapon, even if not their weapon of choice, the fact of the healing properties this offers makes it perfect for those struggles against Walton and Colt. So how actual good is the healing that this thing offers? Well it's basically on every enemy you kill it drops a pool of basically a healing aura. You stand on this and literally every 20th of a second it gives you a good portion, a good quarter of your health back. So it's actually pretty amazing when you see it in action and what this thing is capable of. The healing properties on this weapon are next to nothing I've seen any other weapon offer. Now it does not heal your shield, only your health. Now I can see this being a major part to many builds, I can see many builds being built around this. So yeah the healing properties as you can see on screen now are pretty remarkable. For general use though I would definitely say this is a must get SMG just for the simple fact of those healing properties. I say this is a team weapon, a weapon used by a team to take on Walton, I mean you could probably even take on Walton with the right build doing this solo. Now it isn't the most powerful weapon in the game, it isn't the most powerful SMG in the game, I mean other Maliwan SMGs will do more DPS due to the fact of shooting much much quicker and having much larger magazine sizes. But all in all the Kibbs Worth is indeed a great addition to the game, for the mere fact it offers something new and truly unique. So guys, this has been the Kibbs Worth Maliwan SMG, exclusive to the takedown at the Maliwan's Black Site 3 event. An SMG which is super unique, it has healing properties and can switch elements. It takes much of what other Maliwan SMGs offer and rolls them up into one. It's an exclusive drop from Walton and it's also the perfect weapon in my opinion for teams to take him down. And on that note we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and enjoy daily Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.